Well, this woman right here, Kelly Shin, lost one of her prosthetic legs in the ocean yesterday. We first told you her story at five. Her leg has been found. 13 News Now reporter Megan Perrier spoke with her this afternoon as she started to think it had been taken out to sea. All I've seen is beauty, 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 beauty. You might think positivity might be hard for Kelly Shin. I've been a double amputee since I was 16 years old. I lost my legs to uh, meningitis and sepsis. Especially since yesterday, she lost one of her $20,000 prosthetic legs to the ocean. There were people swimming and I was just like, oh, that's so inviting. And then as I was coming up out of beach on the sand ledge, um, a wave knocked me over and or I didn't have that sleeve on. It sucked my leg right out. And it's not the only thing Shin lost on Ocracoke Island this week. No home, no car and no leg. <laughs> she sat in a house on stilts while Hurricane Dorian almost took her life. The storm was horrific. A building just floated right toward us and I was absolutely petrified because if it hit the house, we were going to be severely compromised. Except for some pictures and love notes, Shin's life is now submerged. I have been lucky I had a disaster crew come in already and haul out all my belongings. Um, it was really devastating. Actually, the day they came was the day after the fifth anniversary that uh, my husband died. And so I watched them carry all of the things I had left of him to the edge of the road. And that was pretty excruciating. But today there was a stroke of luck. A beachgoer found her leg. Now Shin is helping others and can't imagine being anywhere else. People who have lost everything are giving up whatever they do have for anybody else who needs it. And it's just, that's why I live here. That's why I love Ochre Coke. I've never, you know, it's the best humanity right here. In Norfolk, I'm Megan Perrier, 13 News Now.